Hello out there, Vinyl Community. Welcome back to the channel. Edward here. I am back with another video. I hope everyone had a good week. It's Friday. It was a day that after the work day was over, I took a long nap. So I don't know if that's nap, a nap for exhaustion or not get enough sleep. I don't know. So that's what I did. I woke up and thought about this thread that's going around where it's like folks showing 10 records from their collection that they play the most something to that effect so I thought I'd jump on here I pull 10 records that I go to listen to quite often more than a lot of the other records that I own and that's even some of the newer records uh, as far as a reissue and some jazz titles so here we go i like to present to you the 10 records that I go to and listen to a lot and enjoy and never get tired of these so the first one is stereo copy of The Who The Who Sell Out I just simply love this record very much. I'm a big Who fan, favorite band. The next is uh, Jeffro Toll, War Child. I, I go to this one quite a bit, more than the other ones like Aqualon or Passion Play, but you know, I, I've been collecting those uh, nice booklet box sets, and for some reason, I didn't pick this one up. So hopefully it's still available. But yeah, War Child, just love every song on this album. It's just so good to me. Next, The Kinks, Face to Face. A long time ago, I bought this CD. It was like one of my first things to ever get of The Kinks. So I had like this French import CD. Uh, I believe this one right here is the Kevin Gray mix maybe done to this. But Face to Face is just another album that I love. Um, the songs have lots of different mo uh, moods and dark. Like, uh, let me see here. Um, at Rainy Day in June, pretty dark song there. Then you go to the Sunny Afternoon, and I love the song I Remember, Holiday in Waikiki. The song starts off with a really kicker, and that's Party Line. Kinks face to face. This one, I just love this record from beginning to end. I, I consider this one of those records that are just timeless, and that's King Crimson's and the Court of a Crimson King. King, excuse me. Love this album. Every song on it. Um, seem to go to it a lot uh, when I'm feeling down, and. Get, this helps me to get back and just see the importance of uh, music it becomes my uh, therapy, my therapy session. My all-time favorite Beatles album. I know some out there in the music community, it's not theirs. They got all kinds of things to say it, say about it. That's cool. But I just say that Let It Be is another go-to album that I like that um, I play this more than uh, Abbey Road. I play this more than Sgt. Pepper. But I just love this album. I, I love Across the Universe. I love the um, one uh, after 909 and I Got a Feeling, just to name a few. And George Harrison's uh, I Me Mine and For You Blue. This next one is Led Zeppelin's first album I remember long long ago cutting grass working hard earn money and this was one of my very first Led Zeppelin albums I bought now this is not that copy but I remember um, getting into Led Zeppelin through a friend who was a big Led Zeppelin fan that's all the records he had was Led Zeppelin that's all he listened to other than classic rock radio and um, what can I say that I just simply love every song on this album and uh, 
Of course, I love this song, Your Time Is Going To Come. It's a good one. And how many more times? I mean, these are those are just classic rock and roll songs. Next, Rush, Permanent Waves. I just love every song on this album, too, as well. And I play this one quite a bit. Usually, it's my jump uh, back into the Rush catalog. I go here, then I go Hemispheres, Fairway to Kings, and I go back to the first three albums. But yeah, Permanent Waves, I'll never forget the day I bought it um, when I started working um, at my first job as carrying out groceries. It was worth every penny that I earned to go out and this album just has such a lot of great songs like Natural Science, Different Strings. I always wanted to know if they did Natural Science live. Maybe they have. The next one, The Dark and Moody and The Fair Warning. Yeah. Van Halen, Fair Warning. Love everything about this album. The way this album sounds, the way it was produced. Um, the album cover. The songs, the lyrics, Eddie Van Halen's fantastic guitar playing, love David Lee Roth vocals. Uh, mean Street, it's just a killer song, great opening track. Hear About It Later, it's my second favorite on this album. Got two more left. Next. Same thing, Scorpions, Entrance, what I mean by the same thing, love every song on this album. One of my favorites on here is the um, instrumental uh, track on this album, and that's the um, Night Lights that ends it. I love Robot, man. I don't know why when I hear that song, it, uh, top of the bill, but we're going back to Robot, man. Every time I think, every time I think about one of my favorite TV shows, and that was the uh, Ultraman TV show. I just simply love that. And I, I, I hear that song and I think when I was young, I used to look forward to after school watching Ultraman on TV. They showed it in black and white and then it went to color. Still one of my all time favorite TV shows. Next. The album that got me into Coltrane, this is my go-to album of Coltrane. I just simply love this album, and that's Coltrane Blue Train. I love everything. I love I'm Old Fashioned, Lazy Bird, Locomotion, Moments Notice. Just another album that I just love every track on that I seem to go to quite a bit and play a lot. It's the Tone Poet version of that album. So there it is. I'm pretty sure that people are still making their videos. There's a lot of people, even new people I never did know that were out there in the vinyl community making videos on this thread. But I thought I'd get on here and um, make a video. And uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video. I appreciate the thumbs ups, the likes. And if you'd like to uh, subscribe to the channel, appreciate it. Welcome. Thanks, everybody. Uh, see you soon and have a good weekend.